you're ready to remove those negative items, then watch this entire video because I'm giving you my smoking gun disputes. What is that, you ask? Well, I'm about to show you. And not only that, you can access this entire thing. You see, we have the smoking gun dispute letter. And it may look simple, but looks are deceiving. Now, before we get started, smash that like, subscribe if you have not done so. And I will also let you know that this is the last weekend to get my credit repair course on steroids for just a one-time payment of $169. On Monday, it goes to $299 and it is not going to revert. Why do you need this? Well, first of all, this is guaranteed training. What does that mean? Well, if you go through this entire thing and it does not work for you, then guess what? I'm going to do a credit sweep for you or I'm going to one-on-one mentor you and that's a $2,500 minimum value right there. Now, that's the link right there on your screen. And yes, we're going to go over those two dispute letters, but this is so powerful because it includes everything that you could possibly have ever wanted to know as far as credit repair goes. The basics, advanced tactics, who the credit bureaus are, how to build your score, how to remove your negative items, and how to go and get those mortgages and those loans and those vehicles and credit cards, higher limits, all that kind of stuff. It's 12 years of everything that I've learned how to do packed into a very simple course. And this is the course right here, credit repair course on steroids, what you're looking at right on the screen right now. The bonuses, we have our PDFs. We have many, many things on here. This basics is 107 pages. The dispute letter tactics is 253 pages by itself. Credit bureaus, creditors, collectors, this is 118 pages. The There's 144 dispute letters. That's 180 pages right there. And we also have um, the credit repair business. Do you want to know how to do this for other people? That is also included. And as a bonus, we're not even finished yet. As a bonus, you're also going to get the um, credit uh, credit consultants association um, study guides. And this shows you how to remove negative items, how to write dispute letters, how to increase your credit scores. And you're also getting access to two of my apps. Um, it's not my newest, my newest one, uh, live automation, but you get access to your live letter as well as my web app that is for companies that do this for um, other people. Okay, so we're gonna go over this a little bit later, but let's get over to the most effective dispute letter, and it is so so simple. You're putting your personal information at the top. And just so you know, you can access this down in the description. We're not going over all of this because there's many sections to it, but you can access this using the link down in the description. You'll get it for free. Just drop your email, okay? You're putting your personal information at the top, your name, date of birth, address, and your social, okay? There is a very simple paragraph. And now we're going to be including a couple of things here, all right? If you have incorrect account information, things that you want to delete, then that's going to go right here, okay? Now, if you have um, inquiries that you want to remove, we're going to include those. I'm disputing, you know, the following inquiries, which I did not authorize. You're going to include the creditor name and the inquiry date, okay? Um, remove incorrect personal information like your incorrect social, your date of birth, your addresses. Update personal information. This is the current address. This is the current name. You know, I recently got married. Get rid of my maiden name. My current employer is XYZ and you have my date of birth wrong. This is my date of birth. I'm allowing you 30 days to complete this investigation, after which I authorize you to mail me my updated credit reports. You see the language there? And then your name, and that's it, no signature. I give you the addresses to dispute, how to write your letter, how to identify yourself, different identification pieces that you need to include, and why, how to dispute an account with the credit bureaus, whether by phone, mail, online, or fax. And we're just going to spend a second on this, but if you have ever disputed online, unfortunately, you did something wrong. You should never dispute online and you should never get on the phone. And this is not a point of view thing. This is a fact. You see, these um, these conveniences that you are provided, are con they're not a convenience to you. It may look like a simple process, but you are actually doing the credit bureaus a favor. You see, first thing that you need to know is that the credit bureaus make consumers agree to these innocuous sounding waivers, which in fact make you give up your rights to reinvestigation and a couple of other things. Second, without a proper paper trail, the credit bureaus do not have the fear or, you know, 
threat of lawsuits, okay? So the credit bureaus can take online and phone disputes less seriously. This means less thoroughly investigated disputes that lead to items not being deleted from the credit report. So Use your physical credit report and mail or fax these. And if you're going to mail them, it needs to go out certified because we need to have our paper trail. Okay. We also have common mistakes to avoid with the credit bureau um, disputes. And I'm not going to go over these. You can access this uh, down in the description with the link. What accounts you should never challenge with the credit bureaus. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Even though this says that, um, you know, if it's super recent and it's within the statute of limitations, you shouldn't dispute. The reason I'm telling you this is because nine out of 10 times, it's going to be disputed wrong and you're going to put the limelight above your head. You're going to say, hey, come sue me and I don't want you to get in trouble. However, if you take my course or you go through my 1600 videos, I show you the exact way to do this the right way without fear of getting in trouble, okay? So yes, you have a due process to dispute inaccurate information on your credit report, but there's a specific way we are going to do this, okay? Uh, types of accounts that you can remove from your credit report, how to dispute recent late payments and recent collections, uh, what to do if the credit bureaus do not correct your credit report, and how to file uh, complaints against them, and then how to use Section 604, method of verification, a method of verification uh, sample letter on here. And if this doesn't work, the link is already on your screen, my740.com. You're just going to schedule a call with me. And if I can help, I may possibly offer services. And if I can't, then I'm going to tell you, you know, your best next steps. Okay. Now this as simple as it seems, is my smoking gun dispute letter. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to dispute your accounts. I have many other videos spending many years that show you how to do this, but this is how to write your smoking gun dispute letter. It is very, very straightforward, okay? You're going to have your name, your address, your date of birth, your social at the top. You're going to have today's date. Don't backdate, okay? It's going to go based off of when they received your dispute. It is not going to go based off of when you dated your letter, all right? You're going to have the credit bureau's name and the address. And then we have only three parts to this besides the, you know, your name at the end, okay? We have our why paragraph. We have our what as far as what we're disputing. And we have a closing. That's it. You don't see where it says enter this law and state this. No, we're not doing that. That's not how you remove negative items. And how can I say that? It's because men lie, women lie, and numbers don't lie. I have a whole playlist that shows you that I increase credit scores, hundreds of points. I remove hundreds of negative items from credit reports. And that's because it's a very, very simple, very specific process. And it's not by sending out four pages of these law heavy disputes. Okay. Your why paragraph, just as you see, it only has three parts. The reason why you're writing the letter, that's one sentence. I'm writing this dispute to you because of X, Y, Z. I pulled my credit report and I see inaccuracies. I'm getting a job and you have my personal information incorrect. Whatever it is, it's one sentence. The second thing is what you want them to do. Investigate inaccuracies, delete false information, et cetera. One to no more than two sentences. And then part three, request a new credit report. Now, this part is the key to removing your negative items. Your what? paragraph, okay? What you're disputing. And it has three parts, creditor name, account number, and the reason for your dispute. An example, this would be delete for violation because the date last paid was reached and reports as this on Experian, this on Equifax, and this on TransUnion. And obviously, they would those would have two different dates, okay? Um, you're going to do this for every single account that you have. You don't have to send them in batches, one, two, three accounts, you know, at most. No, you're going to do them all at once. I don't care if you have 144, you know, medical accounts or collections or charge-offs. They can all go in the same letter. It doesn't matter. Now, normally I say no more than 10 accounts per letter, but that's because we're trying to bog down the system. So if you have 20 accounts, send out two letters. Yeah, you're going to have two letters for Equifax, two letters for TransUnion, two letters for Experian. You send them out on different dates, okay? But we're not trying to make this complicated. We're not trying to talk about formulas and different structures. This Put your accounts on here, and they have three different parts to it. The very last part is your one-line closing. Thanks in advance for your expedited resolution to this. Um, thank you. Please send me a new credit report, X, Y, Z, okay? And your name and no signature. Now, there's one... Um, optional part to this, and that's putting enclosed 
your exhibits, your identification, CFPB complaint, whatever you're including in it. Okay. Now, one thing that you want to keep in mind is that um, if you can print it this way, you're going to want to. Page one on the front is going to be your accounts, okay, your letter. On the back, you're going to put your identification and your exhibits, all right? This way, the credit bureaus cannot say, we got your letter, but we didn't get your identification. Yeah, you did. You scanned both sides and you got my identification, all right? So um, if you don't have anything included in this other than your identification, then you don't have to put that on there, okay? This is simple. It is straightforward and this works. You can walk away from this video and implement these things today and send out your disputes tomorrow. Okay. Speaking of which, again, we have the course. If you want to learn how to remove these things permanently from your credit report, then this is the way that you want to do it. And again, you can access this right now, this weekend. Um, today is October 21st. You can get it October 21st and October 22nd for just $169. After that, it is going to $299. And there's no reason why you should pay that if you've seen this video um, prior to that date. Okay. So if you want to remove these legally, permanently, you want to get the best possible strategies, things that people are not using. You want just be a lot of structures. You want, um, you know, a couple different apps. You want to know how to increase your credit scores and you want to move on with your life. Then you can use these. And it's very, very simple. The link is on your screen and, um, that is it. So you got access to the most effective dispute letter training, and you also got access to the smoking gun letter. All right. Now, if you want to see if I can do this for you instead of you doing it yourself, it's very simple. My740.com. That link is on your screen right now. Um, the way that it works is you schedule a call with me to see if I can do a credit sweep for you. And that is it. If I can offer services to you, I will. If I can't, I will recommend something. It is as simple as that. All right. So I will see you tomorrow. I will see you next time. If you want to access the most effective dispute letter training, as well as the smoking gun um, dispute letter, then that link is going to be down in the description. But that's it. Have a great day.